Hey guys, I'm Elegant and Shu, and I decided to do some sort of like a vlog um, update video thing rather than my usual animated Pokemon sprite thing. Uh, so you can see me for once, my ugly face. So I'm sorry if I'm not as pretty as you'd like me to be, but tough luck you can have in this. Uh, yeah, so I thought I'd update you guys on a few things because I've got a few things to say to you guys. Um, first of all being that today I actually watched the first episode of um, Pokemon Rival uh, Destinies, Pokemon Black and White Rival Destinies, uh, which in English, um, because it came out ages ago in Japan, but it came out today on Card 2 Network in English, so yeah. It was um, pretty much the same as uh, how Black and White's been going so far with Ash, sort of this bring Ash down a little bit by um, making him lose a bit more and not be the best trainer ever because that's what he's always been but um, it's still a, a little bit childish his Pokemon Black and White made for children um, I mean in the past Pokemon hasn't been so childish even though it's been made for children they've had sort of more like adult themes not not in that sort of way they had more sort of um, sort of uh, how do I put it sort of more enjoyable for adults, but they made it specifically for kids as Pokemon Black and White. So um, I think that's a little bit annoying. But um, the one thing I'm really annoyed with with this episode is that they actually did the um, did the uh, Bianca and Tafala scene in um, in that Green City with Eliza. There, if you played Pokemon Black and White the game, you hopefully you remember that um, because it had some awesome music when it did it. Sorry, I just I love the music when it did that. Um, but yeah, they, they did that in this episode and they completely messed it up. I'm sorry, but I did not like it. And I won't go into what happened because I don't want to like make spoilers for you guys and spoil it for you because um, even though it's going to spoil itself because it was very bad and I didn't like it what, like one bit. I mean, they had they gave themselves a chance to redeem themselves, but they just made it worse. Um, but you'll see what I mean if you watch that. Um... So yeah, that's uh, one thing I want to talk about. But another thing in the Pokemon anime and the Pokemon world is that um, I, recently I did actually notice that uh, Pokemon Black and White actually have an episode where um, they actually, um, how do I put this, they sort of show uh, Dawn's and Brock's like how they go on after Ash has gone to uh, Unova. So um, this has not been yet released in uh, English and I haven't actually seen any clips from it but apparently it's been aired in Japan on the 3rd of February um, so it is a very recent thing. Um, it was actually, uh, all, apparently it's meant to be between um, Swaddle, Swaddle and Berg in the Pinwheel, Pinwheel Forest, I can't pronounce that right, and uh, Connoisseur's Revenge so it, it, it actually doesn't have an episode because it's a, an episode uh, number because it is actually a special sort of episode but apparently it's meant to be between them even though it was uh, released much later it was meant to be between them in the series and um, I don't know how they put it in and they fit it into there because um, it doesn't uh, I don't think it shows Ash so I don't know how they worked out where it's meant to be but maybe it was just planned out that way or by Nintendo or something like that or um, whoever made it probably I don't even think Nintendo makes the anime so um, but uh, I'm going to read you what it actually says here, um, rather than trying to describe it myself, because I haven't actually seen it, so um, I'm going to just read out what it says on this website, um, and I'll talk to, talk to you a bit about afterwards. Uh, but yeah, after training po Pochama, which is the uh, Japanese name for Piplup, and Hino Arashi, which is the um, Japanese name for... Cyndaquil, uh, in her home in Futaba Town, which I believe is, oh, oh my gosh, I'm, this is, this is testing me out of my Pokemon knowledge, it's the first town in, um, Diamond and Pearl, I believe, I really hope it is, I think it is, I think it is, um, but, yeah, you're gonna know what I mean, Hikari, which is actually Dawn, uh, Dawn's Japanese name, uh, decides she wants to go to Hoenn to participate in Pokemon contests there. She's not sure who to take with her, so she starts by Professor Na Nanka Mado's lab, which I believe is Professor Rowan's lab, in, I think it is, or it's either Professor Birch or Professor Rowan, I'm not sure which, but I'm pretty sure, since it's before she's going to take, uh, before she's going to it, because she's choosing which Pokemon to take, it will be Prof Professor Rowan's, I don't know why it will be anybody else, um, but yeah. However, uh, Naka 
Kamador, I think I'm pronouncing these right, it's such a test to me for these, um, needs help with a new trainer named Shinko, who is not sure um, who she should pick as a starter Pokemon, similar to how Hikari felt, which is Dawn, again, I'm going to remind you about that, um, when she started her journey. With the new Hikozaru, whatever the heck that is, and Pochama Escape, oh, that will be um, two of the starters. Uh, Hiko Zaru will be either Chimchar or Turtwig. I'm sorry, I don't know which one it is. And uh, Pochama, as I said before, will be Piplup, Escape from the Lab, so two of the starters Escape from the Lab. Hikari agrees to help find them, so Dawn helps uh, agree to go and find them. I'm just trying to make this um, as understandable to you guys as I can. With uh, Shinko following her, taking notes on the way, which is the girl who's um, getting a new Pokemon, um, they eventually find the uh, Hikozaru and Pochama have been trapped by Ariados, which are the starters, and tra trapped by the same Ariados as Dawn was when she started out, I guess, because um, they're both near Professor Rowan's lab, and I think it's meant to be sort of like that. Um, but yeah, Hino Arashi saves them, which um, is actually Dawn's Cyndaquil, um, but, all, but all of the other Ariados in the area attack them including a powerful shiny Oridos that traps them with a psychic attack. That's not good. But um, yeah, the Oridos, the names are in English for some reason and the other ones aren't. I'm, I'm not sure why. But um, yeah, he, he no Arashi suddenly evolves into Magarashi. <laughs> so testing me these names. I'm sorry if I'm reading them wrong. Um, basically, Cyndaquil evolves into Quilava. Um, and uh, well, I'm lost now to where I was reading, sorry. Um, yeah, saving everyone from the Oridos with its powerful eruption attack, similar to what um, Ash's um, Cyndaquil does in the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Center League Victors when he's um, actually uh, preparing to go into the uh, Pokemon League and he um Professor Oak sending all his Pokemon over and Team Rocket sorry to steal the Pokemon, so that's sort of similar to that. Um as well as the Ariad has been similar to um the early episode of Diamond and Pearl, so a few links there. Um but yeah, with a new Pokemon saved, H Hikari decides that she will take all of her Pokemon with her to Hoenn. I mean I'm not gonna go into the um I'm not gonna read out the um Brock bit because I want to concentrate on the Dawn bit because I have something I want to say about it but the Brock bit I'm just going to quickly summarise basically um, Brock's in the gym in the Pewter City gym and I think uh, Nurse Joy apparently comes to battle him to test them for the Pokemon League if he's good enough apparently he loses apparently he's not good enough so he gets his brother to come in for him and Nurse Joy to come battle him and then apparently he loses but they all end up with a happy ending like Pokemon does usually it's kind of stupid but um yeah, I'm talking fast because I don't want to talk about that, but um, I want to talk about the Dawn bit because if you remember back all the way back to um, Diamond and Pearl, when, um, when which was the fourth generation, which I remember the um, remakes of the games were actually Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which were back in Johto, but we do actually see from the previous, um, yeah, in Diamond and Pearl, we see May, which was from the previous um, region, come into it from Johto, which was actually the, the Heart Gold Soul Silver. So if you see what I'm getting onto here, um, so basically the hint to Heart Gold and Soul Silver was in when May from the previous um, anime series, because there was a couple series in um, the advanced series, if you know what I mean, in the Hoenn, Hoenn region, she actually went to Johto, which was the hint for Heart Gold Soul Silver, because um, she did actually appear in the uh, Wallace Cup in um, Diamond and Pearl. So what I'm thinking here is that maybe this is a hint to a remake of Ruby and Sapphire because this is actually in the Diamond and this is um, Dawn's from the Diamond and Pearl series but this is in the Black and White series and Dawn's gone to Hoenn so if the same thing happens then we will be getting a Ruby and Sapphire remake which will be pretty cool. I mean I, was, I really look forward to this because I love the Ruby and Sapphire games. They're probably my favourite games that they've, um, Pokemon have made. I mean possibly as an Emerald remake because that's still sort of the same, great, same game but it doesn't really matter I suppose. 
but I'm guessing it's ruby and sapphire if it's going to be like heart gold and soul silver because they didn't bring out a crystal one. Um, so that'll be really good because I love those games. Um, if they do do it, I'm interested to see how they will update the um, update the Pokemon contests because um, they haven't had Pokemon contests in the fifth generation. If, as you probably already know, they have Pokemon uh, Theatre, but I don't think they'd replace the Pokemon contest with Pokemon Theatre if they bring out Ruby and Sapphire Remix. I think that would completely ruin the game because um, the Pokemon um, contest got their debut in Ruby and Sapphire, so I really hope they do actually bring that out. Um, and I hope they do update it to make it a little bit better because I know it wasn't the most um, efficient thing to do in the previous games. Um, I do really love the Pokemon contest. I love, love to see them that like, maybe one game following the gym battles and the other game following the um, Pokemon contest, but I doubt that's going to happen because Pokemon's mainly about Pokemon battles and they're going to bring um, Pokemon battles as in gym battles, but uh, I doubt they're going to bring out a main game that's not going to follow tradition. Um, so unfortunately, I doubt that's going to happen, but I do hope they do update it because... Um, it was sort of a major thing in Ruby and Sapphire, so I'm guessing they're going to make it a bit bigger now, um, because, you know, um, I don't know, I think that it was something that they could improve on, and something that they would improve on. I mean, a lot of people have um, got other points to say about the new Ruby and Sapphire remix, but I'm pretty sure you can find them anywhere and everywhere over YouTube and the internet and Google and stuff so you can look them up I mean there's a lot of stuff theories about the colour of the Pokemon Centre floor um, and other things like that really that I think are appeared too much and everyone's repeating the same thing and nothing new but I thought that well I haven't seen anyone point this out before but I'm sorry if you have but on YouTube and on the internet I haven't seen anyone point this out because um, I don't think it's too much common knowledge about this episode in black and white because it's only recently been released in um, Japan and not in America or anywhere else. Um, so I think that um, maybe uh, the, no, uh, that it might actually be Ruby and Sapphire Remix coming out because there were suspicions of that anyway. And I just thought I would tell you guys a new point that I haven't seen before and that you might not know of because I haven't. I haven't seen this before. And another thing I would like to say um, to the Ruby and Sapphire remakes that not many, too many people have noticed or said, uh, I hope, well I don't think they have, sorry if you have again, um, is that Junichi Masuada is probably a major person that I'm completely named wrong so I'm really sorry if he is, um, he said, um, he actually quote, quote unquote, he said um, this, well I'm actually having to improvise but I'm pretty sure he said these words. Um, Ruby and Sass Ruby and Sapphire are very important games to me. I want to make um, I want to make something good. I mean that doesn't make very much sense because it's a direct translation and you don't hear the rest of the sentence. But he actually exactly said those words. Yeah, I was gonna sort of uh, say what he said around it, but they were sort of irrelevant. Um, and it still didn't make sense, so I just want to quote on what exactly he said. Yeah, Ruby and Sapphire are a very important game. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Ruby and Sapphire are very important games uh, to me. I want to make something good. So, hint, hint, that's probably saying that he wants to make something good out of Ruby and Sapphire. Um, I think someone questioned him and he answered this. I'm not sure whether that directly means, because that could be interpreted in many ways, because it's very brief and not very descriptive. So, um, <clears throat> sorry. They may not actually be Ruby and Sapphire games coming out. I mean, I'd love to see that. I love those games. Um, but yeah, on to other things. Um, I'm more, more, my, more of my channel stuff now. So if you're not from my chat, if you don't watch my videos on my channel, um, then you can leave, I suppose. <laughs> I'm not telling you to leave. You can do because you might find this boring and you might not know what I'm talking about. Um, but I recently recorded my grinding episode for Pokemon Soul Silver, and I will hopefully be uploading that tomorrow. It's just a lot to edit, and um, grinding episodes take forever. It took me about two and a half hours to grind, if not more, because um, I accidentally stopped the recording halfway through. I meant to pause it, but um, I had to restart that, so I didn't exactly get the right amount of timing. Um, I think I'm going to post and write the whole way, the whole way through the thing because there is a few thing few things while I'm grinding. I need to. Specify because you might think I'm pretty stupid when I'm grinding because I do some stupid things. Um, 
uh, partly because I was actually super speeding uh, my emulator so yeah I hope uh, you guys aren't too bothered about that and another thing I want to talk about is my um, fire red um, my recent recording of Pokemon Fire Red with Naka Shimmified. Um, I've already talked about this a little bit, but um, the last recording session was a fail. An absolute fail. A fail of a fail of a fail. Like, um, we started recording and we recorded two and a half hours and both of our um, recordings were fine. Were fine. They were totally fine. And um, all my audio was working. For once, my audio worked. And I, I got all the audio and all the video and and there was no black bits cutting off and it was perfect and things, but guess what, when uh, Naka Shimified tried to um, save her save her um, recording, I think you can pretty much guess what it happened, uh, it didn't work. Yeah, so thank you for coming to Asia for not working, um, but we had to record the whole thing again because, well, you know, she can't just not do like a whole two and a half hours of episodes and not upload them, you know what I mean, so they skip to afterwards. So um, we had to record the whole thing again and yeah, afterwards, uh, guess what happened to me? Um, not the same thing luckily, but um, some of my audio went crackly and crackled out as I say. I don't know where I came up with that phrase because it crackles and then it dies out, so I say crackled out, so I made up a new phrase I suppose, but yeah. It, um, quote-unquote, did crackle out um, partway through the episode, um, probably about just before halfway. I mean, I've got an hour, I think, and then it crackles out for an hour and a half, which kind of sucks because, um, yeah, so I, I did actually previously ask you guys um, what I should do because I, I have Nakashima Fied's audio and because um, I got to send it me to fill in for my missing audio um, and basically the one she sent me since uh, she was recording her um, computer system audio that was me and her emulator so um, and her game so um, the file she sent me is the one with my voice and um, her game uh, noise so um, that's not very good because if you watch my video you're gonna hear her game volume as well and it might mess up a little bit so there's a couple things I can do I can have my game audio and her game audio my um sorry if that went dark it was my laptop going off but um I can have my game audio and her game audio as well as both of our voices and um, that might be a little bit annoying and confusing for you guys but if, to make that less confusing I could have a game um her game screen and her, basically her gameplay and my gameplay as well as both game audios that make might, might make it better for you guys because then you can look at both of them and, and the game audios make sense for one and you guys might be able to see both of them and that that probably is the best option but um because the game audios fit with the video because there'll be two game audios one fitting with that side and the other fitting with that side and that'll be all be good um or Another thing I could do is I could get rid of my game audio and just use her game audio, my voice, and um, her talking. So that's what I could do. Um, so please, please do comment on uh, what you think I should do. Um, because I, this is messed up a little bit and I'm really stuck what to do. It's only six episodes that um, it messed up for. Yeah, it's only six episodes and I'm thinking that's an hour and a half. So yeah. Um, I'm really sorry about that. I hope it doesn't happen in the future. But please, please do comment. That's why I haven't uploaded Fire Red today, because um, because of that, I need to uh, sort out the file. I need to separate it and work out how I want to do it because I don't want to delete anything just yet to sort out the file. And um, because I need to know what I'm going to do with it first of all. Even though the first six episodes are fine, I probably could split that into two episode, two two files, and then work it from there. But um. That's quite a lot of hassle to do, and um, just uh, I suppose it's very difficult to separate it exactly because I need it. Sorry, all the episodes to be exactly right, and it doesn't crackle out exactly right in the exact right place. If you know what I mean, it doesn't exactly crackle out between one episode and another. It crackles out part way through an episode. So I really need um, you guys to help me out on that one. Um, another thing is that my um, my audio myself. I actually realised was um, I, I recorded through my headset, yeah, and um, I don't know why I said yeah because 
I record it through my headset, so usually it's fine and everything, but um, through Skype, Skype actually records through my laptop. So, um, my laptop microphone, I did not realise that until after my last recording, when um, Naka's Shimmerfied's audio of me didn't crackle too, and didn't crackle out like I say. Um, so therefore, my audio on her videos have been a bit muffled and you can hear my fan a little bit. But fortunately you couldn't hear me hitting my microphone, which I did quite a lot. Um, so it's, it's not as good quality and there's a little bit of a fan in there occasionally. You don't tend to hear it too much because I do use Visual Boy Advanced for um, Fire Red. So it doesn't generally go crazy when I do uh, Visual Boy Advanced only when I do Desmoomi. That kind of sucks. But um, it's good that it doesn't do it with Fire Red. Um, because otherwise I would have very much noticed my fan and I would be a bit confused. Um, so, uh, yeah, also my um, my voice is, will be not as good quality as usual in uh, so for those six episodes, so I'm sorry about that. And on all of Nakashima Side's videos, but after that I'm going to try and sort that out, try and use my microphone, and since I won't be recording for five hours straight, um, hopefully it's going to work because for the two, for the three and a half hours straight away, my computer and my headset was fine, but um, it was just when it was getting such a long time, it was getting hot and it start, stopped working. So yeah, that's one thing. I um, the last thing I want to say, I think actually. So um, I'm actually yeah, I should have said this at the start, but I'm actually recorded this on. Uh, I have actually recorded this on my iPod Touch because my um, webcam completely failed uh, so sorry if it's not the best um, but yeah my webcam suddenly decreased in quality and kind of broke and I don't even know how it did that but yeah this has been me in real life and I hope I really haven't been too ugly for you guys I mean luckily since it's a bad camera you can't see my spots as bad but you can still see them which kind of sucks and since it's night time it's darker and like um can't see me as well so uh sorry that basically that makes it a bit pixelated and stuff just starting to ramble now so i'm sorry about that but um yeah thank you for watching guys i should have another soul silver episode up tomorrow it should be my grinding episode hopefully i'll have a fire red up tomorrow i don't think this in fact i think it's, this might be uploaded tomorrow since it's getting quite late now um like because this is on saturday night uh, so I think this is going to be uploaded on Sunday, but hopefully it'll be uploaded tonight, and hopefully you guys um, won't be too confused with what I said, um, because I've related to everything to today rather than tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's hope for these Ruby and Sapphire remakes, because um, I really, really, really want to do it. Oh, there's one more thing I need to talk about. I knew there was one thing. I was stalling trying to think of what it was, but yeah, there was, um, there's no... Um, oh, what's it called? The um, new Pokemon game. No gun baz something or other. Uh, let me just look this up because I'm being pretty stupid and herp derpy. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to type words uh, that um, sort of look like it. Um, a new Pokemon game 2012. It's actually a new Pokemon game that's coming out this year and um, it should be coming out in March in Japan, I think. I won't actually be playing a Japanese game, a lot of people get it, but I prefer that um, that, uh, that to play it in full English and to play it properly and to buy it properly. I mean, some people do buy it properly from Japan, but I prefer English. And uh, this is not right, and I just need to move this for a second. I'm sorry about that. Sorry. Um, um, basically, it's a cross between another game and Pokemon. Uh, I'm not sure. It's sort of more RPG style, and it's pretty cool. It's basically, there's a Pokemon from all the regions, and you get to be your own little trainer with an Eevee, which is so cute. Can't talk so cute and cool. I was trying to say one or the other, but sort of merged together. But um, so cute and cool because I love Eevee. It's one of my favorite Pokemon as it evolves into my favorite Pokemon, which is Espeon, which you guys should know. Um, which is pretty cool actually. 
Um, but I'm not <laughs> able to find the name for it. I mean, I can't, I can't pronounce it right, so I'm going to have to look up the pronunciation. That's why I'm looking it up. Um, Pokemon Cross. So yeah, it's a crossover game. Um, this episode's actually getting really long, so I'm sorry about that. Um, it's a crossover game between an RPG style game and um, here we go, and uh, Pokemon. So it's called Nobunaka's Ambition and Pokemon together. I don't know if it's actually going to be called that. It's called Pokemon and Nobunaga's Ambition because I think Nobunaga's Nob Nob Ambition is actually a game itself and it's just a mix between them both. But I think uh, on the trailer there's a lot of bosses I think you see with like Mewtwo, Groudon, things like that. And I think you also see, sorry, uh, your rival or your friend um, who has a... Um, Jigglypuff, uh, so I, th I believe that's your rival or friend, she sort of looks like it, um, but it, that's pretty cool, I think I'm actually, I'm definitely going to buy that actually when it comes out, because I love that, it's not for 3DS though, which is good for me, because I don't have a 3DS, because I'm, I'm cheap and I'm not up to date, and I don't have the money to buy a 3DS, I have a DSi still, not even a DSi XL, but um, I'm pretty happy with that, I'm content, because I can still play Pokemon games, um, so yeah, I will actually be getting that. I might do a let's play of it. So if you guys want me to do a let's play of it, please comment and tell me what. Tell me if you do want me to do a let's play of it, because it'd be a little bit different. And I think nobody's really seen that sort of thing from, from Pokemon before. So that'd be kind of fun. It sort of looks like Mystery Dungeon, but not Mystery Dungeon because it's sort of more Pokemon animated in battle rather than um, just Pokemon stood there and then like stars coming out of you when you use Swiftly. Yeah, it's actually. Pokemon moving and that sort of thing um, and tried to make it a bit more 3D so tell me if you guys do want me to do that or you don't because I, I quite enjoy that I suppose because I'm actually looking on this game quite positively it's sort of a spin-off I think um, a lot of people don't like spin-offs but um, I do like some spin-offs but I've not really embraced the spin-off I think I've played Pokemon Ranger one of I've played the first Pokemon Ranger and um, I completed that. It took me ages though with the legendary dogs. That was awful. It took me forever to get them. Um, but I finally got them, in the end, got them in the end. And as soon as I finished it, I ended up selling the game because I stood on my DS and broke it. And I needed money, so I kind of regret that now though. So, um, But I won't go into that. And um, also, I have played Mystery Dungeon and Explorers of Time War or Darkness. One of the two, I completely forgot which one it is. But I got so stuck at Dialga because uh, I taught my team any. I basically got my team only new attacking moves, so I couldn't paralyze it or poison it or whatever. That kind of sucked. So I gave up it at that point because I couldn't do it anymore. And um, so yeah, I haven't really embraced the um, Pokemon spin-offs. I actually bought Pokemon Link just to say that like ages ago. Um, just to add that in because it's not really a Pokemon spin-off, it sort of is, but it's sort of an arcade kind of game. If you know what it is, it's like um, Tetris, I suppose, where you four Pokemon, or Connect Four, if you know what that is, um, sort of like a, that thing, get four Pokemon faces in a row that are the same and they disappear and you keep on coming down. So basically it's just Tetris, and I just said, uh, I said Connect Four because it's only single faces that come down at a time, not shapes and stuff but yeah um so i'm rambling now about um pokemon spin-off games but yeah i haven't really embraced them and i really do want to um play this game because it, i'm really looking forward to it i'm being really optimistic about it because it looks pretty cool and um it's not sort of a thing pokemon just going oh it's just a side thing it's um a major get pokemon game of this year actually because there, there hasn't been planned to be another major mainstream major like pokemon game this year and sort of mainstream the main Pokemon game if you know what I mean with where you go around a region and you catch Pokemon and things like that um so this is sort of the instead of if you know what I mean um I think it's going to be uh because it's the new Pokemon games usually are March so it's it's to replace the, a, a normal Pokemon game I, I'd assume um but also it's with another company so I think Pokemon have really put quite a lot into this and I th I'm quite looking forward to it, so I'm going to stop rambling now, I'm going to finish off finally, I'm sorry about that, it's been half an hour, I was expecting it to be five minutes or something like that, but yeah, 
I'm not going to get this uploaded tonight because my internet goes off in 10 minutes, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> what a weird face I pulled there, but yeah. Thank you for watching, guys, and I hope this has been helpful to you guys and maybe been a good video, a good update slash Pokemon stuff video vlog or whatever. This has not really been a vlog because it's just been talking about my channel and updates and stuff because I haven't time hadn't had time to talk about talk about myself. So yeah, um I might do some more vlog videos. Tell me if you like it. Um so comment, like and whatever, just do tell me if you like it because I want to know if I should do more vlogs vlog kind of stuff and updates on Pokemon. Um so yeah thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. And I'll see you in my Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. Oh, my Fire Red thing. Oh, Fire Red and um, Montap run, even though that's already pre recorded. So, mostly my Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. So, I really need to finish this off now. So, I will see you in another vlog on my Pokemon Soul Silver Nuzlocke run. And thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you in the future, like I just said like a million times. But yeah, I will see you. Thank you for watching.